Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you for being here. I haven't done that in a long time. Wow, that felt weird. I have makeup on the side and not on the side and it's wigging me out. I really hope it's not wigging anyone else out, but like, it's wigging me out. <laughs> The moment you fell, you could start over new Was the same that you realized the stories were true You opened your eyes and the world you could see It wasn't dim, it was brighter, you'd have to agree So if it bothers you, I'm sorry in advance, but you can just listen to the baby update until the bump shot at the end. But it is my 18-week baby update. Baby is the size of a mango, and that's a pretty, like, that's a good size. That's a pretty good size. Lots of stuff happened. <laughs> um, so I updated you basically on the baby appointment that I had at the very beginning of 17 weeks. So it was more for 16 weeks. It was my 16 week appointment, but I had it at 17 weeks because she was gone. It, or no, it was on the 4th of July was the day that we were going to have met her. If like she's only in the office near us on Mondays. I talked about that a lot, but I went for an ultrasound on Wednesday, which was super fun. It was just a fun ultrasound because I have a friend who's an ultrasound technician, and I did schedule my 20-week ultrasound at 21 weeks because it's when I'll be back. Um, that's also when I'm going to my next chiropractic visit because he adjusted me today and was like, you're feeling good. He didn't feel the need to stretch me out. So I just got to keep stretching on my own, moving my body and working my body. <laughs> and then um, he said that we were good for a couple of weeks, but obviously I'm going to be gone the first week of August. We'll be in Colorado, which you guys know is one of my goals. I'm so excited. We're getting so close. And Yes, you guys know that's one of my goals and I'm so excited. So I scheduled the same day that I have my chiropractic. I also have an ultrasound that day and then we have nothing going on because I won't be working Mondays. And I'm just so excited. I'm very, very, very excited. I will be hopefully starting my new job the week that we get back. And right now it sounds like I'll be doing Wednesdays and Fridays will be my two work days. And I think that we kind of decided on like four to close was going to be what my work day would entail. I told him I could come in as early as two if he needs it on some days, like I need someone in the afternoon, like an extra person or whatever. And I was like, that's totally fine. Just have me come in and then I'll close. Like that's, I'm good with that. That's what is going to be the plan, I think. And then um, that'll start that same week that I get back when I have my 21 week like actual anatomy scan and my next chiropractic visit. But my chiropractor did tell me if I wasn't feeling great to come back in. And so I was like, well, I am going to need to get adjusted after, like, road trip, cars, all that kind of stuff. So I was like, that's the perfect time to schedule. We'll just do it right for what, right when I get back. And it's going to be a little crazy that day because I'm really going to want to get unpacked and probably not have a ton of time to do it in, like, the morning and afternoon. But we'll see. Back to this ultrasound that we did was super fun. It was super cool to see baby. Baby was super photogenic and like, hey, it's me. Hey, it's me. And like, would keep like looking at us with like their eyes open, <laughs> which it was weird because like you could see the outline of like the pupil and the iris and stuff because it got like darker as it went in, which I have never seen a baby eye on an ultrasound before. So that was really interesting for me and I thought it was really cool. And then like, just very cooperative. She got a bunch of measurements and she said I'm measuring like three-ish days ahead. But again, her stuff isn't like um, diagnostic. It's not diagnostic. <laughs> it is just 
you know, for her to practice with and get stuff. But uh, all of her instructors were like, those measurements are like textbook, really good. It was so cool because you know your heart has four chambers, right? And when it beats, it squeezes and then it, you know, relaxes. It squeezes and relaxes because it's a muscle. Well, she happened to capture a picture of the heart right when it was like relaxed. So you could see just this cross with four chambers on it. It was so cool. I've never seen that either. Like I've seen all four chambers of the heart, but like not nearly as clearly or whatever. Baby was just very cooperative, but like moving all around, like back and forth. And then at one point in time, they flipped upside down and like head way in my pelvis. And I was like, nice. Very nice. So really fun. That should be interesting in a few weeks. Um, I've been feeling movement a lot more consistently. I got kicked this morning in the side when I was carrying Gabriel because they get really mad when anyone pushes on my belly and it like encroaches on their space, which is m like mostly Gabriel. But I picked him up and I carried him and his knee was like in my side, but it wasn't like pushing to my side where like it hurt me. And then I got jabbed and I was like, that pinched. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> so, I don't know. That stuff is just so fun. But this morning I was like, I can't wait for my baby. <laughs> I just really want to have my baby here. But also, very patient. Very much patient. And I can very much wait. So, not in too much of a rush, but I am pretty excited. Just feeling good about everything in general. <laughs> and I feel good. Generally good. Um, a lot of the stressful stuff is has been like out of the way and this week is play practice or play practice it's play practice dress rehearsals and then we have shows this weekend my birthday is this weekend my dad's birthday is tomorrow <laughs> so there's a lot but I'm also working two days this week and I asked a couple co-workers like if anyone wanted a serving shift because I know like serving hours people have been wanting and haven't been getting so I just thought you know if there's someone who wants it like they can take one of my shifts and then I won't like literally have something every single day until Tuesday if I don't end up working that night because that is my anniversary. It's just it's kind of crazy and even though I'm busy I still feel like relatively good and I feel like my back has been in a good spot and like I've been trying to like have better posture you know distribute my weight more evenly um stretch out a lot more and I think that's really really helping one of my other co-workers just told me that she isn't gonna work for me so <laughs> I've got like two other people that I'm waiting to hear back from but or one other person I don't know anyway I've got like one but one other person before I know if I'm working all week but I have a busy schedule this week and I'm still like positive about it and that like the positive mental state the positive like thoughts and feelings and stuff like that that is really part of where I feel good and I've noticed it a lot more correlatively in this pregnancy when I mentally feel relaxed and good I physically feel a lot better and that tells me I need to do something. I don't know what, but I need to do something to make sure that I kind of stay in that positive mental space and give myself time and relax and all of that kind of stuff just so that I can continue to feel physically healthy because that's going to fuel my physical health. Um, and it helps me to eat better, helps me to drink more water just because I feel good. Um, you know, and really that's what contributes the most to how I'm doing in terms of like do I drink enough water every day am I sticking to what a diet plan should be like very clean very healthy or am I eating out a lot and sometimes you know it's unavoidable like with these busy weeks like I'm really gonna be home but that's kind of just what life is <laughs> And it's just a little chaotic and so, you know, there's that element of it, but for the most part, if I'm doing well, it's because I'm feeling good mentally and thus physically. So that's been a lot more of a thing with this pregnancy than I than I noticed when I was pregnant with Gabriel. And maybe it was clear to people watching the videos or just if I looked back on them now, I would see the relationship, but I just haven't looked back on them so I can't say that that was the case then. I haven't looked back on them recently I should say. Otherwise in terms of baby stuff I have very little clothing that fits. Like technically I wouldn't say that the shirt fits because it's really tight like I can wear it 
but I don't like how it looks. It makes me look frumpy because it's too small. But I don't have a ton of summer clothes and I really just need to go through like my closet and stuff. But practices keep going late, which I'm not really complaining because we need the practice so it doesn't really bother me. But practices do keep going late and then I've got to pick this person up and then this person wants to come over or this person wants to do this. And there's just a lot of coordination and, you know, time is a precious thing and seeing people is not just because we can do it now doesn't mean that for the rest of time we'll be able to see those people or that we'll be able to see them as frequently as we want or any of those kinds of things. So I, you know, will sacrifice the things that don't absolutely need to happen now for those people when I can, when my mental health will let me <laughs> and all of that good stuff. And then, but I do have piles on my floor of like summer clothes and when like fall clothes. And so I'm going to put in the back of my closet everything that won't fit me postpartum next year so all the fall stuff this year that won't fit me because I'll be pregnant is gonna go in the back of my closet all the summer stuff that won't fit me next year because I will be postpartum and although I'll be like six seven eight months pregnant like right in that time frame that's when I started to started to fit back in my clothes with Gabriel and I have a feeling that I may not f slim back down or fit back into what my previous size was as soon with this pregnancy just because it's the second baby there's a lot more going on and I don't want to put extra pressure on myself to like well, I'm not following the same track he did so what everybody every baby is different so I'm not going to put that pressure on myself so everything that like just does not fit me when like I'm postpartum like that didn't fit me around that time with Gabriel I'm going to put it in the back of the closet as well and then I'm going to move the summer stuff to the very front that will fit me this summer and does fit me and then consequently will fit me next summer and then all of the fall stuff that does fit me now slash will fit you know in the fall <laughs> for sure because it will fit me like at least at the beginning of the fall that kind of stuff will also move to the front of the closet but I don't have a ton like I have one pair of like pregnancy shorts that like maternity shorts I have one pair and I don't know where they are currently I think I don't know where they are. I don't know where they currently are. And I've got clean clothes to put away so it could potentially be in that stack. But I don't know. <laughs> so I'm slightly concerned. Um, so I've been living in like the three pairs of shorts that kind of fit me but they definitely don't really fit me anymore. So I've been trying to do like dresses and stuff but it's just not always practical and it's getting to that point with like the weird clothes again that I just I'm gonna have to like really I need to go through my closet and especially because we're packing to go on a trip I want to fit in stuff that's comfortable that's not gonna be uncomfortable in the car or when we're hiking or any of that kind of stuff so I do need to go through my clothes I am going to attempt to do it tonight because I think Gregory wants to play Rocket League tonight so he didn't really get a chance yesterday to like wind down and relax even though it was a Sunday because it just ended up being a really really long day and so I think that he really wants a chance to do that tonight so I'm hoping that we'll get home early enough for him to be able to do that and then he can just kind of you know chill and whatever and I can have time to do closet stuff but we'll see if we do I'll vlog it for you anyway that's kind of like the baby update and where we all are Kind of glary. I feel big, but I know that I'm not big and I will continue to get bigger. I feel big in terms of like, sometimes I just feel like a bloated whale and other times, but I like don't feel physically big, like physically large, which is how I felt at the end of Gabriel's pregnancy was like, I, I felt bloated and like bloated whale but also like not physically big which I don't know how to explain it better than that but it's weird anyway if you guys liked this video if you're feeling any of the things that I'm feeling please comment down below I would love to connect with some of you and just talk about pregnancy related things if you have any requests for these videos please let me know otherwise we will see you next time thank you so much for watching love Genevieve